Good morning, I'm the Mainly Digger and today we are talking about the islands of Maine. Um, it is a blizzard outside, or at least a blizzard for Pennsylvania, so digging is kind of not an option. Detecting is kind of not an option. I want to get out there, but I can't. Um, so we're going to talk about the islands of Maine. I love the islands of Maine because they, they're so secluded. Like, and they're, they're mostly secrets. Like people don't go there. Tourists don't go there for whatever reason. It's mostly Mainers, locals, or the rich artist who doesn't want to talk to anybody, which is cool. It's all right. I like that. But here are some of the islands in Maine that are you should visit. Absolutely 100% should visit. Uh, we're going to start off with Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. You need a, a military ID to get there, so this is all. This is only for the military personnel, or a uh, a veterans card. You're not. You're only going to see half the island because the the rest of the islands, like, you can't touch. You can't go near. But what's not known about Portsmouth Naval Shipyard is there is a hotel on there. Yes, it's it's made for military personnel, but you need to. What you need to know is you can still stay there. You can still stay there, um, and it's fairly cheap. I, I forgot the rates, at, but it's 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 fairly cheap. Um, the island itself is actually three islands that were filled in and put together. There's a whole bunch of history in that island, not only for ship make, mostly around ship making. Um, the U.S. Constitution was built there. Uh, there there's a museum on the island. Um, for military personnel, there's a commissary, a huge commissary, which is a huge grocery store. Um, and the food is, it's all good food. Um, and there's a class six, that's where the liquor is. Uh, as for military personnel though, if you're in the military, it's good, good destination, a good stop off point. Um, and Kittery's, or uh, Portsmouth Naval Shipyard is right next to Kittery and Portsmouth, so when you're coming through Maine, it's a good place to stop if you're in the military. The next one is Beals Island. I have been to Beals Island. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, most most people, most I, tourists, or even like look, not I would I wouldn't say locals, but like Maine, people from Maine will go to these islands. You rent a cabin, you rent a house for a month, a week, three days, whatever, and it's. It's a taste of life you're not, you're not normally going to get. Like you, there's beachfront property. It's amazing. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, Beals Island has the best, is probably the best kept secret in Maine. Um, it has an old town feel. It's pretty much untouched by tourists. It, there's like, it, it's not, it's not like your normal coast, coastal town. Um, it's not like your Bar Harbor or or even Kittery, uh, it's it's just there. Like no one, no tourists go there. It's great. It's an amazing place. Um, the next one is I can't even pronounce this island. I'm gonna spell it out. I'm breaking it down kindergarten style, first grade. C H E B E A G U E Island, which is in Casco Bay. Uh, it's about 10 miles away from Portland. Um, it has 25 miles of scenic routes. It has one of the top secret or top hidden beaches in Maine. It's a beautiful beach. Like it's a beautiful beach and there no one goes there because they're not worried about that beach. They're, they're worried about other beaches on the main, on the, on the mainland. It's a beautiful beach. Uh, there's the next one. I love the the name of this island is Squirrel Island in Booth Bay Harbor. No hotels. Um, it's all privately owned cottages or or cabins that have been there for generations. Uh, not there's not really it's not really that touristy. You can rent these cabins out, but most of these cabins are privately owned. Like I said, so you have to call somebody and check say I want to rent and they either decide yes or no based on if they're going to be there that week or or whenever you you want to book your your stay um 
it is one of the oldest summer colonies. So like rich people flock there. Like there's a couple uh, native, natives, I don't know why I said natives, natives that stay on the island, but the rest of the people are, they go there during the summertime. So they have some type of money that it's, I mean, it, and it's unter there's no tourists at all. Not, I don't say no tourists, but very little tourist. It's not very touristy is what I'm getting at. Um, Monaghan Island is the next one. It's in the Outer Islands. Uh, gorgeous views, probably the best views you'll ever have. Uh, 12 miles off the coast of Maine. And there's an 1860s lighthouse that has been turned into a museum. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, the next one is uh, Vinyl Haven Island. It is the largest year-round community. Um, it's in Penobscot Bay, uh, and it has the largest lobster feed. So supposedly that's where the best place to get lobster is. I would disagree. Um, it's probably the most expensive place to get lobster. It was in the Down East Magazine, which traditionally anything in the Down East Magazine is going to be the most expensive. It's going to say it's the best, but what it's what it means is the most expensive. Um, it's just like that is definitely a tourist trap. Uh, it's a it's a beautiful tourist trap without a doubt, but it is by far it, it's expensive to go there. Um, our last one. Mount Desert Island. These locals are like, they're something else. They're good people, but they are complete, they are something else. Um, it is the ultimate bucket lister and probably the easiest island to get to. Um, there's roads, there's actually bridges built to go over there and they have ferries and stuff like that. So you'll be all right there. Uh, it's, there's, 808 or not 18 108 square miles of coastal line beautiful rocky coastal line to to view uh it's it had like it borders acadia national park so there's multiple scenic views of acadia national park it is it is a tourist trap trap without a doubt it is a place to go um and probably well all these islands are very expensive not very expensive, but like normal Mainers don't go to them because it, it's it's an expensive stay to stay on this on on the islands. Island life is if it isn't if it's not grown there, if it's not brewed there, if it's not made there, it has to be shipped in, which makes it a little bit more more expensive. Um, but it's a good time because there's I you know, me I don't like being around people on vacation. Or if I want to be around people, I will go to some place that is around people. Um, but these, like these islands, are isolated. There's just enough people there to, uh, to not feel crowded, not feel congested. Um, it's your bait. Like it has to be. If you ever come to Maine, it has to be on your your stops. Like go visit an island it's different there's oh i forgot one swan island no one lives on swan island um it's actually has historical relevant reference um relevance i say I, I guess you go with both words but it a whole bunch of historic homes are still on the island that they made into a, a national park um it's it's just a beautiful place and no one ever like no one lives there uh, you can't it's not a place that you stay or you it's a place that you go visit um but yeah definitely if you come to maine check out these spots uh visit these these islands um once you hit the tourist traps like once you get sick of those places sick of uh you know acadia national park or booth bay or bar harbor go visit the islands um it, there's something else it's another part of maine uh, it's and they're all beautiful islands all of them all beautiful secluded islands uh, with great beaches all right mainly dig out